Hi, Dr. Erickson here again. Today I want to talk to you about how your brain actually affects your thyroid. There's a lot of focus that's put on thyroid problems where they focus on the thyroid itself. Now, there are actually seven different pathways that can cause thyroid problems and they don't all deal with the thyroid directly. So if you're dealing with a thyroid problem, you need to be aware that there may be other things other than your thyroid that are actually driving that thyroid symptoms that you're dealing with. Your pituitary gland, which is located inside of your brain, is called the master gland. It actually controls the thyroid. It sends hormone messengers to the thyroid, telling the thyroid to increase your production, or it withdraws its influence, letting the thyroid slow down. It does this by monitoring the hormone levels inside of the body. Now, when your pituitary malfunctions, all of the glands that rely upon that for control are going to be impacted, and one of those is going to be your thyroid gland. So what are some things that affect the thyroid or the, the pituitary gland? Well, let me name off a few of them. Chronic stress. If you find that your life is very stressful, chronic jobs or kind of chronic deadlines with jobs, high stress relationships, chronic stress is one of the things that's going to actually shut down that pituitary gland. Hormonal imbalances can actually cause that. So if you've got estrogen levels that are too high or too low, testosterone levels out of balance, those things can actually impact the, the pituitary. Poor sleep. If you're not sleeping well at night, if you're restless or you sleep but you don't feel rested in the morning, it's another thing that can impact your pituitary gland. Infections, inflammations also can have an impact. Pregnancy, it puts a huge stress on the body. And postpartum particularly, this can have some feedback circuits back to the pituitary gland, actually damaging them or shutting them down. Toxicity. If you're a smoker or a drinker, or if you've dealt with drugs or deal with a lot of over-the-counter medications, have an understanding that this can impact that pituitary. Liver dysfunction, uh, exhausted adrenal glands, poor digestion, and also poor diet. We in America, we have a sad diet. It's called the standard American diet. A lot of fast foods, a lot of refined foods, a lot of packaged foods. This nutritionally begins to corrode the body, and it, and it causes dysfunction in the nervous system. Medications that you may be on, even Synthroid, believe it or not, the very hormone that we take sometimes for our thyroid problems, can actually relay back and affect the pituitary, in turn impacting the thyroid more negatively. Now, just because you have thyroid symptoms doesn't always mean your problem is actually in the thyroid. You need to be evaluated properly so that you have an understanding about what exactly is going on in your body. It's not just a guessing game. It's not let's try this thing out and if it doesn't work, let's try something else. Well, you need to have the proper time spent with you so that you can find out what is going on and you can get the answers to the questions that you have. Now, I offer a free workshop periodically. We do talk about the thyroid. We talk about the seven different pathways. You're more than welcome to attend that workshop. If you want to call my office or check around on this web page, you'll find a link to our office or phone numbers that you can contact us and register for that. This is Dr. Erickson saying, hey, you need to find the cause of your problems and not treat your symptoms anymore. Talk to you later.